Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a great resource for geography teachers and students called the ArcGIS Living Atlas of the World. Now, this Living Atlas of the World is something you can access for free. And you can see here that I can filter it according to the type of information I'm looking for. For example, if I want to look at base maps, or I want to look at different environmental observations like earth observations, I can do that. And I can look for content types of maps, layers to apply to maps, scenes, story maps, and other tools. And we can filter this out by when it was published or updated and the region of the world that it might focus on. And you can see here, I can also select Esri only content and content that's been rated as authoritative only content. So I'm going to now browse through here. I've selected Esri only authoritative only content. And let's look at the types of information we can find, the types of maps we can find. We can see things like active hurricanes, cyclones, and typhoons. If we scroll down here, we'll find plenty more to look at, including this one here of recent air conditions or recent conditions in air quality. Let's look at that one. I'm gonna open that in a new tab here. And when we do this, we'll be able to read some more information about the map itself, where the data came from that's displayed on the map. We see the update date, which was today, October 27th, 2021, and the layers within the map. Now you'll also see in this case, there's actually a lesson plan of, that's included in here. And this lesson plan is about mapping real-time data. And we can see that lesson plan right there. But let's go ahead and look at the map itself. We can look at the map in the map viewer. And we're going to have the map load here. And we can now see the map legend over here. We can click on the little markers within the map to learn a little bit more about each one of these places. And you can see that it's been called an untitled map here because I can actually save this map now. And I can call it something like world air quality data. And I can save it in a folder in my free ArcGIS account. We'll save it right there. So I can go back and refer to it at any time. Now you can see here, I can add another layer to this. But in this particular case, I don't have anything in my, con in my own folders to add. So let's go to ArcGIS online or go to the Living Atlas. And we can combine things maybe with land cover. So here I'm now going to add that land cover. And I'll have land cover and we'll have our air quality data in the same map. So we can have those two things happening in the same place. And we can adjust the blending of these things. We can customize the maps as we see fit. Or I can go here and remove it and go back to the way it was before. So that's the Living Atlas of the World. It's a great tool for looking at data displayed on maps. As always, more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.